Hey Sugar Boo, we are bringing back the natural hair care because it has been a minute since I've sat down here and really talked about my hair. So this is my first twist out in two years y'all, can y'all believe it? And it has been one year since I have decided to let go of my body babe phase and let the fade and waves grow back out. It is time to get into these inches. I have definitely missed my kinky coils, curly hair. Oh. Oh, it's so glad to have it back. But at the same time, it's gonna take some work. So let's get into this tutorial. We interrupt your scheduled broadcasting. Sorry guys, just a minute. I know I'm looking a little beaded and rough. Don't, let's not talk about that. That's not what we're here for. So it's 25 days of giveaways. That's why I am here. So we can talk about these giveaways. So this is a day two of our giveaways and uh, we will be giving away as I am a twist cream, a twisting cream, which is featured in this video. I know exciting things so to uh, enter the giveaway all you have to do is follow the directions in the description box which is uh, down below so uh, this is just a thank you for our 5,000 subscribers um, and you know we don't do a whole lot of giveaways and stuff like that on here but I appreciate everyone who has uh, subscribed to our channel one video brought you here and you decide to become a part of the family and I greatly appreciate that and it is the season for giving and you know we just want to give to all of our followers all right now back to your regular schedule programming all right so let's go ahead and start it on off my hair has been freshly washed i've been using the texture id coil shampoo and conditioner absolutely love that stuff have not changed been doing great by me so i feel no need to change so i'm parting my hair off section it off into four sections and within those four sections i'm gonna take my sweet ass time by doing these twist outs so i'm going in with the as i am twist defying cream my favorite among favorite twist creams this one is definitely like top five um we'll talk about the other ones later on as our hair continues to grow and flourish so i'm just taking my time section off my hair and y'all see that coil at the end so my biggest tip for doing my twist is to make sure that i coil the ends really 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 good because i like to have that nice ball or uh definition that towards the ends of my hair and i like to have that big volume at the roots of my hair to get that fullness but you also get that definition. So we like meet and right in the middle. So this is what it looks like after I have twisted it all up and I'm just cleaning out my brushes cause I wanna show y'all my shed hair because I'm just so proud of me. There was time where I was brushing my hair and taking out wads of hair, okay? Because your girl was not taking care of herself. So I'm just proud of my grow. So I'm putting a do rack on. We're gonna sleep this off, okay? But I kept those twists in for two days because you know, next morning they're never dry. So I, it's, it must be the se season of giving because I decided to give y'all a makeup tutorial, which is something I do not do. But pay attention because it's gonna be quick. I, I'm not dwelling on it. So I only go in with concealer because foundation is just like, a why this is just a why for me um, I don't have problem skin so I just feel like the extra cakiness of foundation is just I need it for me so I just go in with some simple concealer and of course it's frugal and budget friendly boo I use ColourPop and I believe it's like eight or nine dollars or something like that somewhere in that price range you know very inexpensive I'm going in with my morphe contour palette as well as my beauty bakery setting powder in the color yellow and we're setting all that all in and I'm also going in with a blush by ColourPop don't ask me the names of them because this stuff is so old the names have been written off of them okay don't let's not get into that I'm a highlight add some mask and then we're gonna go in with the lashes. I must really love y'all because I rarely ever put my lashes on on camera because it just makes me too nervous and I start getting sweaty and I just can't, I can't handle the anxiety. I, the pressure of putting on lashes on camera just it, it don't sit right with me but I must have been feeling good because I decided to do it I'm going in with a lip liner by minted I've been trying to you know do more black owned makeup products I'm, I'm slowly getting there and then I'm just going in with some lip balm that's also by minted because I want to keep it kind of natural and sheer and now it's time to unravel these twists boo
All right, so the moment of truth or a moment for truth, um, I was totally scared unraveling these twists because my hair is still very short. So I just felt like, you know, the twists were just gonna look like stick up straight. They weren't gonna lay right. I wasn't gonna like it. And I didn't, I didn't like it. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, but you know what? It is what it is. I made it look anyway. And we took some pictures and we was proud of our TWA, all right? Cause it just, it's just not giving what I wanted it to have gained. It wasn't giving me the length that I wanted. So as you can see, I'm taking it apart and I'm spiraling it around my finger. I'm just trying to bring back that definition towards the end. Cause like I said, I like to play around with the definition and the volume. The volume definitely was lacking. So I just took my blow dryer, took a pick. And as you see, I'm raising up my hair and I'm just holding a blow dryer there just to give me a little bit more volume. And as I'm picking it, it's also fluffing out my roots as well I just I just I have to have volume somewhere in there slaying my edges real quick nothing too drastic because y'all know I am not the best at slaying edges I ain't doing nothing fancy I'm gonna keep it cute and simple and then that's it all right y'all so this is the completed look for my twist out that I have not done in uh, two years it's crazy this is my first twist out in two years my hair has grown like crazy this past year and I'm so proud of my growth. I think I've done really, really good. And my tip for my healthy hair growth has been seriously what I put in my body rather than what I put on my hair. Like I am less concerned about the products and the hype of this product and what this product is supposed to do. I've really just been trying to focus on what I put in my body. So my my supplements, my iron, definitely, because in my last Big Chop video, I cried my eyes out about how devastating, like having low iron really contributes a lot to the body. And I was very completely unaware of that and I had to learn that the hard way. So a lot of times when we are experiencing any kind of like damage to our hair, hair loss, um, weakened hair, any of those things, a lot of times it can be what is going on with our bodies. So definitely go see a physician, like see a doctor, see your local healthcare provider and to get some blood work done and you can really find out what it is that your body is in need of. And for me, it was my iron. So I don't focus as much on products. That's why I haven't done a lot of like product reviews as far as natural hair because I've learned that it just really is not all that important. We are so quick to put mayonnaise and eggs in our hair when uh, just eat those eggs honey it's probably that your hair just need you your body probably just needs the protein rather than your hair needs the protein i hope to do more natural hair now that my hair is starting to grow out and i have let go of my body babe phase and we will now start bringing back these inches so we will see y'all in a, another natural hair video protective style video vlog or tutorial thank you guys for joining us we will see y'all in another one be blessed and be safe